friends, it's Julie. Welcome back to Row & Co Farms. It is Sunday morning and it is a beautiful day outside. I'm going to be spending the day outside on the farm, in the garden, just piddling around, but I wanted to go ahead and get our Sunday dinner started. And I've already gotten a little bit of it done. So I've mixed up this marinade for my chicken. It is a recipe I found, I don't remember the website name, but I will link it down below, but it is Peruvian chicken with Aji green sauce. This green sauce is the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. I mean it, <laughs> it's super good. Since I found this recipe about a month ago, I have made this about three different times. I don't usually cook like that. I don't cook the same thing over and over again because things get boring, but this is so good. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link down below, but it's really simple. It's a combination of cilantro and olive oil, lime juice, green onions, a little mayonnaise and yogurt, salt and pepper, but, oh, and some jalapenos too good so i'm gonna be marinating some chicken thighs in it so i have a couple of packs of our chicken thighs that we butchered um earlier this year and i'm going to put those into our little bag here and we're going to marinate those for the rest of the day and then we will grill these later so yeah our chicken thighs look really good these are the ones from our chickens marinade will just really make first of all of course will add a lot of flavor but the marinade will help make the make the chicken really tender and juicy it'll help you know relax it a little bit because the salt and the acids that are in there will help kind of penetrate the meat and just break that down just a little bit to give it give it that tenderness that we want I'm just gonna pour this in. I did set a little bit aside because I like to dip the chicken in it later and just have it for like my potatoes or whatever, whatever I serve along with it. Let's see here. So yeah, make sure if you make this to set a little bit aside or make yourself a double batch, that's a good idea too. Every couple hours, I'll probably just grab this, move it around a little bit, just make sure that everything stays nice and coated. But we're gonna stick that in the refrigerator. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is start a batch of bone broth in my Instant Pot. to feed our sourdough starter. It's very flat. Let's see if you can see in there. Definitely no, no bubbles. So I need to discard a little bit of this and then we will add some flour to it. So I just keep the discard in the refrigerator so that I can use it later. Just poured out about half of it or so. I don't measure, I just guesstimate. I just put a nice healthy, <laughs> healthy feeding in there to make sure that it will be nice and robust. And then I'll just add a little filtered water. And then sometimes I'll have to add a little more water just to get the right consistency. Yeah, it needs a little more water. It's really thick right now. And I like it thick, but not that thick. <laughs> so you can see, nice thick batter there. And by this afternoon, it will be ready to make a bread dough. 
So I think what I've decided to do today, guys, is head out onto the front porch and clean up and decorate for fall. The front porch is looking a mess. I have not been out there all summer because we've been tending to the gardens and the farm. And so I'm ready to clean up my porch. There are spider webs everywhere. I want to pressure wash and just rearrange some of the furniture. We have a wraparound porch all the way around our house. And so I like to just move things around from one area to the other and move my table and my seating areas and, you know, just decorate for fall. So let's get out there and do that today. We're gonna get everything cleaned up and redecorated. So I'm excited. I really love this time of year. It's so nice outside today. Oh, the weather is great. It's breezy and sunny. You can see the sun is just pouring in but we finally don't have all that humidity that we've had all summer. It's just been a beautiful, beautiful weekend. So I've really enjoyed uh, this weekend and I'm excited to go outside today. So let's go do some work. So we're out here on the porch and the last little bit that I have left to do is this like what I'm gonna call my outdoor living room. I have a pretend fireplace here. Sorry about the car noise. And I'm just gonna decorate this with some things that I have gathered from around the house. And I'm gonna show you what that is now. So I've just gone around the house and picked out some assorted things that I think will go with our fall kind of theme here. So I've got this basket here with some logs in it. I've had this for a few years now. I just went and got gathered up all of the dried hydrangeas from around the property and put those in these two buckets that I have. I've got a couple of crocs here. We'll see if those we can work in somewhere. I've got this metal R, this old piece of a tractor implement of some kind. I don't remember exactly what that was. Um, we've got this little wreath. Uh, some ceramic pumpkins. This is a little piece of metal work. Just some assorted pillows and a little tablecloth slash throw. And just this is a faux uh, flower arrangement also. So yeah, let's see if we can work that in to our living room arrangement over here.
right guys, I am done with the porch. I picked up a few things from Lowe's, some mums, and some pumpkins, and that put the finishing touches on everything that we've done out here on the porch. So I wanna show it to you, here we go. I am in love with the porch and the decor. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time out here for the next few weeks until it gets cold. I really, really enjoy being out here in the fall. It is so nice and breezy. We have this gorgeous shade and all of the plants and everything around us. It's just a really nice environment. We have a place to cook down there with our grills. And we have a place to sit at our table and it's just, it's just a wonderful spot to be, so I can't wait to enjoy this this season. Ready to go to the next pasture? here in the pasture we're gonna move our cows uh, we've been doing a rotational grazing recently 
Um, so we've been, these are our electric fence <laughs> paddocks. <laughs> Y'all are loud. So we've been moving them just every few days when they get done with this section that they're in. Um, and then we move them to the next one. And so they're about to get into this really big paddock back here. <laughs> you guys, stop. Won't let me get a word in. <laughs> Are you ready to move? They're ready to move. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be going through that gate right there and put them in this big pasture and they'll stay in there for several weeks before we move them again uh, to another section. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's just showing off now. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> so we just have to drain out their trough and then get it moved to another spot. Think about the baby. Yeah. Yeah. You like her? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's okay. They're gonna follow us though. Are you, oh. are you ready? When I call them, they'll come. Here, I want you to come stand right here. Let me hold you. Let Pop hold you while I call the cows, okay? Baby's always the last one. She's always scared to come in. Go with your mama. Go with your mama. The baby, she's right there. Yep. That grass is as tall as these cows. You can't hardly even see them in there. They're for mama. Is it? Yeah. You like those? Uh -huh. Think mama will like them too? Hey. You made a bouquet? Mm -hmm. Those are nice. I'll go home. Uh, we're about to go home. Let's let Pop get what he's doing, and then when he comes back, we'll ride to the house, okay? How are they? Yeah. So we've made it inside from all of our activities today. I'm going to chop up some potatoes uh, to put into the oven for roasting. Chicken going as well. So I just chopped my potatoes into small little wedges and then I took some olive oil, salt, pepper, onion and garlic powder and paprika and just covered them and tossed them all around to make sure they were really really coated and then I roasted them in the oven for about 35 minutes at 400 degrees. I got my chicken on my little indoor grill here and I'm just getting it seared off on both sides and then I'm just putting it into my cast iron skillet in the oven to finish it off for about 15 minutes. Then I topped it with the green aji sauce and served it with potatoes and peas. It was really, really delicious. Thank you so much for joining me for another day on the homestead. I really enjoyed redecorating the porch for fall with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it too. Hope it provided you a little bit of inspiration and motivation to get you through the next few weeks. 
I'm really excited for fall. I really love this time of year, just sinking into being in the house again for a little bit and cooking some really good food and soups and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys will stick around with me. If you're looking for further content, check out our website and our Instagram down below. I'll leave links for that. And I cannot wait to see you guys next time here at Rowan Co. Farms.